In this lesson, I'll tell you about adding sun, exterior lightings, date and time to the drawing and I'll also create a final rendering of this exterior view. So let's first start with the exterior view of our geometry. So for that, I'll change my view from this custom view to exterior and this is the view which we want to render but before making any changes i will change the visual style here so once again i'll change this visual style from shaded to 2d wireframe and now in this visual style let's go to the shadows and create full shadows also click on this sun status to turn it on now our sun will be turned on and also all the settings related to sun will become visible here in this drawing now we can also set date and time for this current drawing. So for that, go to the sun and location and from here change this value of date and time. So if you're not able to change this value from this slider, then you can also click on this small arrow icon and this will open sun properties palette. Now from this palette, here we have this sun angle calculator panel and from here you can change the date and time. So this is the current date which is selected. As of now so I'll change the time I'll keep this date as it is and I'll change time to 9 a.m. in the morning so let's now move to 9 a.m. and let's close it so now the Sun angle intensity and everything will be decided according to the date and time which we selected now if you want to also change the setting of this sky then you need to change the visual style but we are not going to change it as of now and we'll now move on to this render panel now expand this render panel and click on this render environment and exposure now here you'll see some of the presets and we'll apply some of these presets in our drawing but before that i'll click on this off icon to turn it on now here we have this sharp highlight selected exposure is set to 9 and white balance to 6500 so we'll keep these settings for now and we'll create a rendering with these default settings let's now move to this custom view and change it to exterior and our shadows are turned off so let's turn it on as full shadows also make sure that these settings are turned on here and let's close it and now let's click on this render to size button so this will generate a final rendering of the exterior scene and since we have selected low preset so the rendering will be created quickly but with low quality and here we have it the final rendering of exterior scene which is not very impressive so we can again make some changes to this final setting so for that let's click on this close icon and now let's turn on this sky background and illumination and now I'll create this rendering again so now click on this render to size and here we have another rendering with sky background added to it now we also have some presets that can be used instead of the background so for that I will close this window and then go to this render panel and expand it and click on this render environment and exposure let's click it to turn it on and now from this drop down of image based lighting select this village and let's now close this palette and I'll also make sure that this ground is turned off so I'll select this ground then right click go to isolate and hide objects you can also change the current view if you want to see it more clearly so I'll orbit my drawing a little bit let's move it a little bit downward And now let's exit this now let's click on this render to size and we'll have a completely different rendering in this case and you can directly see that a village background has been added in this case so you can create your renderings with these presets we also have more presets in this drawing so again go to this render environment and exposure instead of village you can select an option like plaza click on close and select render to size and we have a completely different background in this case we can also adjust the lighting and exposure settings here so if you find that light is too bright then again go to this render environment and exposure and from here change this exposure value to 14 
and now let's close it and click on render to size and now you'll notice that the intensity of light is decreased in this case so in this way we can create a rendering using different presets and these presets can also be saved as our views so i'll save this view for creating future renderings so i'll close this window i'll go to view manager and from here i'll select this new and i'll select a name for this view so i'll type exterior new and click on ok and click on ok again so now we have saved this view for our future reference so this was all about adding sun date and time to the drawing and also we learned about adding exposure and environmental presets to this drawing in the next lesson i'll tell you about creating the final rendering and about saving them as an image file